Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so um, today, before I get started, I'm gonna show you guys the dried results from the last painting. Um, it dried so well and I'm really happy with it. So here are the dried results and you look at the shimmer in the gold and the antique copper and the blue did dry a little bit darker, which I was expecting and I did mention that and I think it's perfect. I think so today's video I'm going to do the same thing but different colors, different base as well. I'll show you guys that in a minute but uh, I think in today's video I'm going to try and cover up more negative space I think. But uh, yeah I'm super happy with the way this turned out. It's so masculine and manly. But uh, yeah, it is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. You can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com if you are interested in this piece. It's a 16 by 20 inch. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, don't forget, I am heading to Dallas, Texas at the end of October, October 27th and 28th. I am doing a small in-person workshop with Massey Art Studio with Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studio. If you want to come to Texas and join us for, uh, we're doing two days of classes. So there's going to be four classes all together and you can pick one class, you can pick two, you can pick all four. If you pick all four, you do get a discount. Um, that's October 27th, 28th. And if you want information, prices, registration form, any of that information, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com, okay? So I will be there in Dallas, Texas. Come and see us. Um, I think that's it. Aside from me being tired, I'm still not over the time zone. I haven't adjusted from coming back from Greece. Greece is seven hours ahead from where I am here in Canada, in Ontario. And I'm like, by seven, eight o'clock, I'm like dozing like this on the couch. Um, it's insane. I'm not used to the time zone. I still have to get back into my time zone. So I'm extremely exhausted. But um, I'm off to Montreal this weekend. Not for painting, you know, not. Um, a lot of people are asking, oh, are you coming to teach? No, 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 no. I'm actually coming for just personal reasons. So I'm looking forward to it. And a lot of you have told me, Watch out for the construction. There's a lot of construction and, and a chaos going on. So thanks for the tips. Um, but I'm looking forward to uh, coming to Montreal for four, four days. Um, anyways, that's it. That's my intro. And a lot of you guys enjoyed my um, pictures and videos from Greece that I posted at the end of the last video. And I had a few people were like, where's the food? I took a lot of pictures of food because the food was incredible there. I didn't have one bad meal the entire time, whether it was cooked by my relatives or eating out at a restaurant, the food was phenomenal. Um, so for those of you who wanna see food pictures, I will put those pictures at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing the uh, Greek cuisine that I was eating. Well, I didn't eat all of it. Some of it was ordered by family or whatever. Um, like there's a picture of octopus, Ugh, not for me, but my brother loved it. Um, but anywho, I will post pictures of food at the end of this video. All right, I'm going to get myself set up and let's get started to today's painting. Alrighty, let's get started. So I'm working again on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Now, my base color this time around is a lot darker than the last one. So let me show you the difference. I still have some left over from the other one. This was my last color and this is my new color. So I've made it darker and I've changed the actual colored paint that I'm going to be putting on the canvas. So let me explain to you what I've got going on here. Ah, I'm already getting dirty. All right. So this is my base a lot darker this time around, and it's more of a grayish blue. So what I've gone ahead and done, and I've mixed um, neutral gray, neutral gray. I mixed Prussian blue thalo, and what was the 
was the other one? Neutral gray, Prussian blue thalo, and my brain's not working. Uh, Payne's gray. I did. Actually, yeah, Payne's gray. Payne's gray as well. So, neutral gray, Payne's gray, and Prussian blue thalo, all by Amsterdam. Don't ask me the ratios because I was literally playing around, drop a little bit of this, drop a little bit of that, drop a little more of this, and I ended up with this. So I think the majority of what's in here is the neutral gray. Um, yeah, so that's what I ended up with. And the colors I'm using today are going to be Pearl Cream by Arteza, and then I'm throwing in some Oxide Black by Amsterdam. Then Antique Bronze by Deco Art. Haven't used this in forever. Then back to Pearl Space Gray by Arteza. And then Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. And topping it off, I'm going back with the Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. So I've got one, two, three, four shimmers and then two regular colors. And this is my base. So I didn't do um, gold. I wanted to keep the 24 karat out only because sometimes it looks yellowy and I'm trying to keep the yellowish out of this painting. So I took the 24 K out and I took the antique copper out because it was very vibrant and I thought that the antique bronze matched way better with this base color. So I'm going to flood my canvas and I shall be right back. Alright, canvas flooded, bubbles popped. Now that I think about it, I haven't really thought about my composition. Alright, let's uh, wing it. I'm going to wing it. I am going to wing it. Let's wing it. This might be a good thing or it might be a bad thing. I normally do this, right? But what if I did this? Ah! <laughs> Now that is what I call winging it. I really had no concept of what I wanted to do here. Because I said I wanted to add, like I wanted to get rid of a lot of the negative space. So this would potentially do that. And I went a little heavier on the black this time because I kind of want to see dark in this. So let's do the... What is this? Antique Bronze by Deco Art. Is this going to take over like 24K? I don't know. I added normal amount, not less like I would with 24K. So let's see what happens. These are going to be really nice, dark, manly colors. Let's see what happens. Okay, and then I'm going to load it up with the titanium buff light because I do like the cream, even though I did add the pearl cream by Orteza, I do want to load up this cream here and we'll see what happens. And then same with this blue because I really, really love the rich navy blue in this. This one needs a refill. Oh boy, tell me I have enough. Tell me I have enough. All right, that's a lot of paint on here, but that's kind of what I want though, because I want to be able to push this around. Let's pop the bubbles. All right, I'm so interested to see how this is gonna turn out. All right, uh, I'm gonna start here since I have a junction, you know, here. I'm going to start here and blow my way down. Let's go.
I nailed this. I nailed it. This is what my vision was the first time around with the other painting and I totally screwed it up. I didn't get the vision I wanted. How I, I do like the original first painting I did in the last video. I do love it. But this is what I had envisioned the first time around. And now I have nailed it. I love it. If you could only see the smile on my face right now, seriously. And I love the fact that there's minimal negative space in this. This is what I was going for. Now I'm happy. This is what I wanted. This is what I was going for. And this is what I plan on doing on a massive canvas. I'm thinking 24 by 36 inch um, for someone special. Yes. Yes. This, this is, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. <sighs> I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I did not do 24K or the copper. I just feel like this antique bronze is the right brownish taupey color I was looking for in this. Oh my gosh. There's nothing I want to fix. And this blue black indigo by Atelier is so rich and turquoisey. You'll see it when I bring you in for a close up, but wow. Okay. No, not touching anything. I'm going to fix up my edges with my blue paint and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody, before I show you the close up, I don't know if I did this in the last video. I think, I don't know if I remember to tell you guys to take your stick and scrape the drips. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I told you guys that in the last video. That's what happens when I don't paint for three weeks. I forget things. Anywho, scrape your drips, all four sides. Come back to this, to your painting 10 minutes later. There'll be new drips, scrape them again, and then you should be good to go. Maybe a third time, depends. Oh my gosh, my gosh. Oh, I cannot wait to see how this dries. I know it's going to dry darker. That's what I'm expecting. But look at the blue black indigo by Atelier. You see how it's got that nice turquoisey color throughout? And even though I put a lot of black in here, you can't really see it. I'm so, so, so happy with this. Let's check out the shimmer. All right, so I've got the flash on and we know there's gonna be a lot of shimmer in this because four out of the six paints were a metallic shimmery paint. So this thing is just going to be, yeah, you can see the bronze by DecoArt here. I'm so glad I didn't put, I love 24K, but there's just some pieces and paintings it doesn't belong in. And I feel like this was one of them. This is perfect. Oh my gosh, so much shimmer. This is gonna be insane when it dries. Wow. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Do you like last the last painting I did with the lighter blue and the gold and whatever? Or do you like this one better? Which one do you like better? I personally like this one better because this was my original vision. This is where I was going. I, I do I do still like that one, but this, this to me is perfection. And I cannot wait to do this on a much bigger, bigger scale. And I can go big because I'm not shipping it. It's just going to be hand delivered um, to its new home when I do it. I can't wait to do it on a bigger scale. But let me know what you guys think about this. Um, again, I'll post some foodie pictures at the end of this video. And uh, don't forget Dallas, Texas, Fluid Art with Friends. If you want to come and paint with myself, Jeremy, and Lee from Massey Art Studio, 
uh, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com. That is it for me for now. I'm so excited. I feel like I need a nap now. <laughs> Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.